All right, this first video uh, is going to deal with areas under curves and later on the rectangular approximation method for finding areas under curves. So just to kind of get you warmed up to the idea, um, what is the connection between position and velocity? From a calculus standpoint, velocity is the derivative of position. So if we're given a position function and we take that function's derivative, we'll get information regarding the velocity. Alright, so let's suppose we have um, a graph of this velocity function here. Um, so, again, it looks like the velocity here is just constant. It's a constant 20 feet per second over the first uh, two seconds here of motion. So, if we want to know how much distance was covered after two seconds, we can compute the distance by just simply doing the rate times the time, like in algebra class. If the rate is 20 feet per second constant over 2 seconds, then the distance will simply be 40 feet. Now to answer the question, the area of the rectangle, if we look back over here on the rectangle, we see that we have a rectangle that is 20 long by 2 wide, and so just simply multiplying the 20 by the 2, gives us 40. And so what we note here is that the distance, information about the change in position was the same as the area under the velocity curve. So again, what if the area under this curve was not rectangular? In other words, what if our velocity function was something such that the area under the curve gave us some irregular area, you'd still have the area under the curve equaling the amount of distance traveled over this particular time interval. So therefore, we need some way of estimating or finding the area under the curve to solve this particular type of application. Now again, go back to the beginning question and note that velocity is the derivative of position. So here we're given information about a derivative function and we're kind of going backwards to get the original function or information about the antiderivative. So this idea of area under the curve is going to prove important as we establish the meaning of definite integral, which will be the subject of a future video.